real, real Christians, real Christians, mm -hmm. if you want to know about the, the word of Jesus, they're going to let you know. So I don't know what they're preaching, but it's blasphemy at its finest. Because I actually have questions, they don't want to answer that. And I am a Christian, Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. If you believe in Jesus Christ, you're going to, if you believe in Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, you're going to go to heaven. And if they can't even let me ask questions, because the thing is, all right, all right, brother. I don't know what's going on. You know, you know, you know what? You know what? You know what? Let's deal. Let's deal. There you go. Let's deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get him. Shut him down. Let's do it. Cause that's what he came here for. I said I gotta keep it kosher in a room full of vultures. And to them eggs blow the chauffeurs. I'm a LOZ soldier, LOZ soldier. I gotta keep it kosher. This real life mentality. We ain't war with flesh and blood. We war with principalities. These pastors be manipulating the scriptures. They some Pharisees are infidel. It's worse than these cracks. If you ask me, gotta keep it kosher. This real life mentality. We ain't war with flesh and blood. We war with principalities. You, you, you live out here? Live in Miami? Louisiana? Okay, all free. Well, just know, and, that, and that's a part of all niggas you got, man. You got the line. You feel me? The line of Judah, right? So, take our flyer. You got our information on there. We got our YouTube on there. Uh, just, you know, just tap in with us. Uh -huh. don't work. Uh-huh. All free. They're gonna let you know. So I don't know what they're preaching, but this is blasphemy at its finest. Because I actually have questions, they don't want to answer that. And I am a Christian. Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. If you believe in Jesus Christ, you're going to, if you believe in Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, you're gonna to go to heaven. And if they can't even let me ask questions, because the thing is, all right, all right, brother. I don't know what's going on. Here, you know, you know, you know what? This you know what? Let's deal. Let's deal. There you go. Let's deal. Let's yeah. deal. Yeah. Shut him now. Because yeah. that's what he came here for. Yeah. Shut him now. He came here for that reason. Shut him down. Right. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. His question was because he said that Christ died for everybody, right? Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ did that for Now, yeah. now, we're believing to the Bible, so we're going to go with what the scriptures say. Right. That's what the scriptures question. question. Okay. So, your question. so your question is, who did Christ die for? Everybody. He died for everybody? Yeah, for everyone because everyone sins. Right, and that's according to the Bible, right? So, okay, so salvation, so salvation is Christ dying for our sins, right? Okay, so let's see. First, let's get five Acts chapter five and verse twenty-nine. Let's start there. Let's start with who did Christ die for? Because the Bible is specific on what people He died for, right? Come. So what do you guys, a YouTube channel? You guys preach the word of, of God? Actually, no, we, uh, see what we do is we do like conspiracies, but what we do is try to expose the lies to bring people closer to God. Because the world, you know, the world's corrupted by Satan. Do you agree with that? Yes, yeah, yeah, of course. So see, I think that we've been lied to about everything. So I want to expose the lies and show how the reason we're being lied to about everything is, is to disprove God. Mm. And but the question, the initial question I want to ask was, if you guys think the earth is round or flat? Because biblically, the Bible actually tells us we live in a firmament, which means that this earth would be flat. But a lot of Christians, they claim the earth is round. But biblically speaking, that's not correct. There's like 208 Bible verses uh, that reference that God made a firmament. You know, and, and that, that's the initial question. But, I mean, now well, we can deal with that, but the first question we will deal with is, who did Christ die for? Because I think that's more important than... Yeah, absolutely. That's the most important thing in the Right, Bible. right. So yeah. let's go. Let, let's go and read that. The book of Acts, chapter 5, verse 29. Bring it out. Yeah. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, uh -huh. We ought to obey God rather than men. So do we all agree with that? That we ought to obey God rather than men? Absolutely. Right? So we should go with what the Bible says, not with what we think or what we believe, right? Absolutely. Our yeah. praises. Go ahead, read that. The God of our fathers. The, the what? The God of our fathers. So it says the God of our fathers. Right. So it's 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 using possessive language right now. Right. Our fathers. Read. Raised up Jesus. Uh huh. Whom he slew and hanged on a tree. Right. That's what happened to our Lord and Savior. Right. He was he was he was crucified on the cross. Right. 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 Read. 
Him have God exalted him with mm -hmm. him have God exalted right. with his right hand uh -huh. to be a prince uh -huh. and a savior to whom? For to give repentance uh -huh. to Israel. To whom? To Israel. To the whole world. To Israel. To everyone. To Israel. It says to Israel. Keep reading. And forgiveness of sins. So the forgiveness of sins, repentance, was given only to the Israelites. So what do you have to say about John, that verse? John 316. Let's bring it. Let's God, bring it out. God so loved the world that Let's bring it out. So John 316. Loved, See, and that's the verse that every Christian will will go to after they hear a verse like Acts chapter 5, verse 21, 29, which you didn't just deal with. You didn't deal with that just then. All you did is jump to another verse, right? So we will deal with that verse too, but understand and let your audience understand that you didn't just deal with that verse that specifically said that Christ died for the nation of Israel. That was his purpose, right? Go ahead and read that. Come on. Right. So let's get John three. Let's start before we even get to sixteen. Let's start at ten. Let's get some context, right? Because we we can't we can't just cherry pick scriptures and not deal with the context. Who was speaking? Who is Christ even speaking to? Right. right? We gotta have. We gotta understand all of that. Go ahead, read that. The book of John, chapter three, verse one. Right. There was a man of the Pharisees. Of the who? Of the Pharisees. So, what would you say the nationality of the Pharisees were? Right. Uh, Roman. They were Pharisees. Roman. The Pharisees were Romans. No, the Pharisees were Israelites who what were. Bible you got? This is the King James Bible. Ah, oh, there it is. King James What's your is a point? false prophet. It's King, bullshit. Eric, let's get King James NFT. was a prophet? Oh, I'm retarded. You got a menorah on your shoulder. King James was a prophet. Are you guys Israelites? Hold on, hold on. Let, right. let's, let's, let's stay on topic. Because that's a whole nother, another topic of who King James is, right? right. But let's read that. James, um, John, because the verse that he just quoted comes out of the King James Version. Right. So why would he, why, why would you let him quote the same verse that comes out of a Bible that you're against? That you don't, that, that, that you want to prove that is invalid. Well, go ahead and read that. Read it again. The book of St. John chapter 3 verse 1. Go ahead, there was a man of the Pharisees uh -huh. named Nicodemus. Right. A ruler of the Jews. A ruler of who? Of the Jews. A ruler of the Jews because he was an Israelite. Go ahead and read that. The same came to Jesus. Came to who? The same came to Jesus. So Jesus was an Israelite, right? He was an Israelite, right? Okay. So these are two Israelites having a conversation. Right. Right. Two people who share the same lineage, the same nationality. Right? Israelite, so, Israelite, Jewish, same thing. No, Jewish is Jew Jewish is a religion that the Ashkenazis uh, created when they took the scriptures from the Israelites and created the religion Judaism. So to be to be a part of Judaism, someone who's a part of Judaism called themselves Jewish. But Jewish is not a nationality. Okay, yeah. Okay, so drop down to verse 14. Verse 14. Right. And Moses, as Moses lifted up the serpent uh -huh. in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Read that part again. The book of St. John chapter 3 verse 14. And as Moses lift up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. So there's a comparison being had here, right? He's saying the same way Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, come. Yeah. The same way Moses lifted up the, the, the serpent in the wilderness, who was there in the wilderness that Moses lifted up the serpent to? You're not sure about that? Let's get it. Let's get that in numbers. Let's get that account. Gone. Okay. Gone. Book of Numbers, chapter 21, verse 9. Read. And Moses made a serpent uh -huh. of brass. Right. And put it upon a pole. Mm -hmm. And came to pass mm -hmm. that that if a serpent had beaten any man, any, any man, right. 
when he behold the serpent of brass, mm -hmm. he live. Right. And the children of Israel. The children of who? And the children of Israel. So the children of Israel was who Moses set up this serpent. Right. In, in order. Well, keep reading. It'll explain. Over there again. Set, for, set forward uh -huh. and pitch in a bed. And they yeah. That's it. Read that verse from the top. The book of Sem um, Numbers, chapter 21. Mm -hmm. Verse 10. Right. And the children of Israel right. set forward and pitched in Obed. Right. So it was the children of Israel that was in the wilderness that Moses said of the serpent. Right? Now let's go back to John 3, 16, John 3 and 14. The book of St. John, chapter 3, verse 14. Right. And as Moses lift up the serpent uh -huh. in the wilderness. Right. Who was, who was, in, the, who, who was the, in the wilderness? The children of Israel, right? Read. Even so. Even so, meaning the same way, read. Must the Son of Man be lifted up. Must the Son of Man, Christ, be lifted up. But to the children of Israel, right? Keep reading. Verse 15. Uh-huh. That whosoever right. believeth in him uh -huh. should not perish, right. but have eternal life. Right. Keep reading. Verse 16. Verse 16, right. For God so loved the world. Mm. Read. That he gave his only begotten son. Right. That whosoever believeth in him uh -huh. should not perish, but have if but have eternal ever slack it, but have everlasting life. Right. So let's bring that into context, right? Because we see this two Israelites having a conversation. Right. It said, even so, the same way. Moses lifted up the serpent to the Israelites, which, which we just read. Even so shall the Son of Man be lifted up. So this is talking about the children of Israel. Right. Right? Now, when we get to verse 16, it says, For God so loved the world. Right? So let me ask you. When the Bible talks about the world, is it only always talking about the whole earth? Just the planet? Just the planet Earth? Let me get Psalms. I mean, yeah, because they, they, they do they do specifically go into the, the certain countries. Like, if, if they're talking about a certain group of people or people in a certain country, it does tend to give you that, that context. Okay, let me let me let me show you ninety and two Psalms ninety and two. Let me show you that there's places in the Bible that separate the world and the earth, meaning the world doesn't automatically mean the whole entire earth. Right. Go ahead, read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 9, verse 2. Go ahead, read that. Before the mountains were brought forth, uh -huh. or even though had formed the earth, right, and the world, the, the what? And the world, the earth and the world. So right here, there's a verse that's separating the earth and the world, meaning the world doesn't mean the entire earth. So what is this world in John 3, 16 referring to? Isaiah 45 and 17. Let's see what this world, because when we say, when, when, when we when we say, um, this girl is my world, when we say that, are we calling her the entire earth, the entire world? No. No, definitely not. Right. So right. this is the language that the Bible is speaking. It's talking about just a specific people, a specific nation of people. Go ahead, read that. Isaiah 45 and 17. Book of Isaiah chapter 45 verse 17. So let's see what this world in John 3 16 is referring to. Go ahead, read it. But Israel, uh -huh. but, but Israel I read. shall be saved in the in the Lord uh -huh. with an everlasting salvation. Right, talking about the salvation of Israel. Read. He shall not be ashamed, uh -huh. nor confounded. Right. World. What? World, right? Without end. So this verse is calling Israel a world without end. This is what the world is being referred to in John three sixteen. Two Israelites having a conversation about something that happened to just the Israelites. That world that's going to be saved is the world of Israel, right? Come. The Book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter eighteen, and verse twenty four. For in the long garment, speaking about the priestly garments, right? For in the long garment, 
was the whole world. Right. And in the four rows of the stones was the glory of the Father's graven, right. and thy majesty upon the diadem of, the, of his head. Right. So we know that a whole planet Earth can't fit in someone's garment, right. but the high priest represented the nation of Israel. Right. He was the one that sent up the sacrifices for the nation of Israel. So when it says that for in the long garment was the whole world, it's speaking about the nation of Israel. But here they're being likened unto a world. Right, right. So, great precept, Cap. So, these are two verses that's referring a world to the nation of Israel. Okay, quick question. You said that came from the book called the Wisdom? Wisdom of Solomon. Solomon, right? Yes, the Wisdom of Solomon, yes. You see, the, the Bible, I don't, my understanding is there's no book called the Wisdom of Solomon. So, are you, are, are you familiar with the, the, the 1611 King James Version? No, I say with the King James Version because King James was a Freemason. King, King James was a Freemason. King, King James, uh, 16th century. Yeah, he was a Freemason. So what? So what version? So what version do you refer to? The NIV. The NIV. The Holy Bible. Well, so now you don't trust the Holy Bible. You don't trust the Holy Bible. So why are you preaching the Holy Bible if you don't fully trust it? Right. Well, I, I, I don't. I said the NIV. So, okay. So you so you fully trust the NIV. So you kind of trust the NIV, not 100%. No, 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 I do trust so it. So what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, there's a thing called the Dead Sea Scrolls um, that were recovered in Japan in 1948. Not all the Bibles are a Quick, quick question. According to what I just pulled up, the NIV version of the Bible came out in 1978. So if the King James Version came out in 1611, we would have had to wait over 100 plus years to have a debate by the Bible, about the Bible. So we wouldn't have been able to talk about the Bible for a hundred years because according to you, the NIV version is the authoritative one. That doesn't make sense. Right. Yes, we do. Hey, don't, don't, don't let him, don't let him. Yeah. Uh, con, 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 con. Right. So let's go, let, yeah, let's stay on John 3, 16. Right. Let's stay with John. Because you didn't quote the NIV version of John 3, 16. Right, right. You quoted the King James version right. of John 3, 16. Well, yeah, I ain't going to let you get away from that. Go ahead and read that. Similar, but there's a lot of this. Oh, okay. The thing is, the NIV came out after the, the Dead Sea Scrolls were founded. What you guys are reading off of came out hundreds of years before the Dead Sea Scrolls were founded. There is no way to actually fa to factually know what was lost in translation. The Dead Sea Scrolls do show that. So how do you know John 3.16 was in... It was John 3.16 in the Dead Sea Scrolls? It was. Prove it. I don't know what... Because we've proven everything out of the Bible that we're saying. But I you haven't proved anything. And, and, Gold is precious, but loyalty is price. I don't wanna mind, might leave you like.